Yesterday, the high was like 60. So it's been like 80, 85, 60. Like, what the? Man, I hope I ain't got that COVID shit. You know? <laughs> few of the a few of the branches on the family tree are trunks, and it's fine. No, it's not. It, it's not fine. Maybe if it was the beginning of time and there were only two people to. It wasn't even fine then. Ugh. It wouldn't work. You couldn't start a civilization with just two people. It just wouldn't work. Hey, Heather. If Eve was fine, it would be fine with me. <laughs> Hey, Lucas, you need to ask Tech. <laughs> Say, Tech, let me ask you a question. <laughs> is it easier to go across the hall than it is across the street? Is, 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 that, is that how it works in your family? <laughs> oh, God. My Saturday, I'm just I just woke up and getting started and I feel sick. But other than that, things are going great. Uh, things are going great. Uh, we're looking for a man named Bjorn who travels with a white bear so we can make him an ally. Oh, God. And I must be in the swamps. Oh my god, I can't see shit. What's wrong with you? Hold on. What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Shut up, lady. There's, uh, it's a freaking artificial fog that's thicker than anything I've ever seen in real life, okay? Shut your face. Uh, if the bear dies, he, he is Bjork. <laughs> Sounds too great, but glad you have positive outlook. <laughs> Like, I feel it in my chest. Like, I'm sick. <coughs> now you feel like you got rocks in your chest when you're so congested and shit. That's how I feel. Uh -huh. That's all right. Maybe I can ask my wife to go get some whiskey or something. And uh, tomorrow, and I'll be I'll be good.
Or maybe uh, find some moonshine somewhere. I work out. I feel like I've got rocks all over my butt. If I had my eyes, I would show you its splendor myself. A land of endless mist. Please join me in my daily jaunt through this magical land. I am seeking the wind blue. The dark elves pushed me out. I thought I already helped that guy. Welcome to... I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. We go around this little island, and then we go over here to uh, this hideout right here. Oh, my God. If I had my eyes... But no, I hope you do feel better. Yeah. <laughs> so you're playing Path of Exile, Locust? Why are you not in Discord? Uh, I'm just not. Oh, God. It's important. <laughs> I know what he's going to ask. I know what he's going to ask. <laughs> oh, a verse. Worm gets one. Yeah. Worm gets one. I don't give a fuck. That was funny. All right. Uh. Yo, Wally, what's up? Uh, I think I got COVID. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> you know, when your family tree looks like a a, a, a a tree trunk, is it easier to go across the street than it is across the hall? <laughs> when you when your family tree looks like a tree trunk, is it easier to go across the grow across the hall than it is across the street? Uh, 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 <laughs> where's that from? What do you mean? Where's that from? Last night when we were talking, and you were like, a lot of my family doesn't do that. It's <laughs> like they date their cousins. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Keyword being a lot. I mean, there is some. Well, no. <laughs> uh, like, my family has strong genes, so, like, I wouldn't think they did that a lot. But. <laughs> Because, you know, usually, like, when there's a lot of inbreeding, you get, like, weaker genes, defects, birth defects, genetic defects, and stuff. <laughs> also, my papa was adopted into his family. Uh, well, that would be okay, won't it, Verge? Except for the fact that I'm sick. Uh... Levi's have strong genes. <laughs> <laughs> The stream gonna be mainly staying laughing. <sighs> uh, uh, I should do some door dashing today, but I'm tired. I need a break. Tell me about it. I've been working my butt off. I all slept day. until like 30 minutes ago. 
I didn't sleep that late. I got up like at 11. Where well, I woke up at around 11. Yeah, but I never stay up till 3 in the morning. Y'all called it. I know you don't. Yeah, I know. I know. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. <coughs> I, I really feel sick. I get it in my chest, but I'm okay. Can you smell or taste anything? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Did you get the vaccine? <laughs> All right. Good. Love you. Bye. No, Tex, I don't love you like that, but... um. Did you get a vaccine? No. Uh, okay, so I wanted to go get the vaccine, but, you know, we've been short-staffed at work. And, uh, like, when I work is when they're giving out the vaccine, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Uh, you probably don't want it because they put nano uh, bites and stuff in you. Dude, nano bites are awesome. They can stop your, they can stop your heart. Yeah, but they can also regenerate like shit that like. It's not those kind of nano bites. <laughs> they don't regenerate anything. They can kill you. <laughs> it's all they they don't put nano bites in you. That's a, that's a myth. How do you know it's a myth? <laughs> Where's your doctor? Well, there would be a lot more people dead if they were putting nefarious nanobites in people. Well, they're not necessarily going to kill you, like, right off the bat with them. <laughs> but people have died. Yeah, how many people like not gonna be like you take the vaccine, let's <laughs> how many people have died? Like yeah. two, and they already had heart problems before they died? Like more people than that. The same percentage of people that die from COVID die from the vaccine. <laughs> Which, of course, less than 1% of people who have COVID die. Okay, apparently I ran into a... Uh... Well, less than 1% of the people who get the vaccine die. Exactly, Locust. Exactly. Population control. Wait, why is this knight, like, coming after me? I'm so confused. Oh, no, that's <sighs> I think y'all need to, like, okay, tried watching Birds of Prey as part of my Crave movie binge. Made it about 15 minutes in and had to turn it off. Damn, that movie is terrible. I actually liked it. Birds of Prey. Myself. I thought it was alright. I mean, it's not like the greatest movie ever, but... It provided me with uh, a couple hours of entertainment. Come here, or would you stay still? <laughs> it kept running away from me. I couldn't mount it. Like <laughs> I never really had a big interest in Men in Black, but yeah, I <coughs> actually no interest in the new one.
Jimmy trying to mount you. Uh -huh. I watched them both. Didn't mind them any more than I did anything else, but there's about David Bukowski on Netflix this one. David Berkowitz. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's how you say that. I don't know who the... Totally won't make you doubt everything around you. I don't know who that is. Not Bukowski. David Berkowitz isn't... He's, isn't he a lawyer of some sort? Uh, or something? Yeah. I, I, have, I follow lawyers because it's cool. Uh, well, no, I mean, like, wasn't he... He's a mass um, murderer in New uh, York, really? Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of somebody else. <laughs> From the 70s. From the se oh, oh, David. Oh, isn't he Son of Sam or the Zodiac Killer or something? He's one of the sons of Sam. <laughs> Like, nobody, we still don't know who the Zodiac Killer is, so that's not right. Yeah, and he said he's one of the sons of Sam, which we did know who. Or, oh, there's more than, wait, there's more than one son of Sam? I thought there was only one. But I don't. Let's keep our eyes open. Your head is right here, idiot. You're mine. You're mine. The Berkowitz was only one of them, so did they catch the other three? Thanks for the tip, brother. Hey, thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, the other two died. What are the sons of Sam? Keeping in mind that I... Oh, they were like literally sons of a guy named Sam. <laughs> Can't see anything. Really? Who did the stuff. You never heard of like son of Sam? No. The killers or uh, killer from the 70s. No. Again, I, I, don't, I don't like. I got you, Aridash. Yeah, I can totally understand that. You want to see how far the train's going to wreck. Get him quick before he sees you. <laughs> you need to raise that, raise it up a little bit. Over no, there. no, no. It was the the arrow thing was in my way. I didn't know he was behind it. Oh, oh, oh I got you. Did you get him yeah. now, or did you just? Okay, you killed him.
can get that. Go a little bit higher. That looked like it went past. Start shooting arrows at you. What happened? There it is. Oh, they have the Avenge uh, other player thing. Yeah. Again. Like in Origins. Yeah. I kind of like those. <laughs> <sighs> we landed on one of them. To it took it. one out. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want to see how far the train's going to wreck. Yeah, I get you. I, I just. There's some things that I've watched, like shit about like Ted Bundy. Um. I watched that first how to be a, a killer or whatever. Oh, he's just got infinite axes, huh? I, oh my god, he does have infinite axes. No escape, you troll hog bear. What's that about? That's enough. What you didn't you missed the window? Oh, I guess I did. Too slow. You know you can turn on like always assassinate, like where assassination always works. Oh yeah. In the settings, but they say like that's not how it was intended to be played. Fuck them, I don't care. Window is stupid. It's not how it's intended to be played. It's in the options. And probably under gameplay. Like, that's kind of how death games work. Scroll down. It's not assassination sequence. That's sensitive content. Guaranteed assassination. There you go. Nice. <clears throat> Part where I gave up on Bird's Prey has Cop Royce Perez taking her gun out, followed by a long foot chase. Nope. Point did she think to actually shoot? Not even when Quinn picks up a bag of garbage and throws it at her. You can tell me there wasn't enough time to shoot. She just took it out of for a reason. Then her brain fell out. <laughs> hey, what? I had a scum. You got spotted. You can get to try out this. Well, like on the weaker enemies on the other side of the world, it didn't even give that window. Like that window thing wasn't even there. So I don't know. You just assassinated him right off the bat, right? Yeah. It's only like stronger enemies you have to use the window. Yeah. But yeah, with that disabled, then you can always assassinate. Which, that's how like classic Assassin's Creed was. He didn't matter how, how much health or level or strength they were you could always yeah assassinate. Well, but that's the way it's meant to be played why not Lots of i like the part of sneaking up on that guard where you fought him <laughs> wait this ain't even where i'm supposed yeah, to no, be stan, but okay stan used to like outdo me on stealth but now he seems to suck at stealth <laughs> yeah 
Stan used to be so good with the stealth, with being this, being sneakily. I'm still good. Nah, nope. You're always getting caught, and then you having to fight instead of assassin. I think these games are just more prone to that. That's not true. You saw me play the classic Assassin's Creed games, and I was fine. No, you were always getting caught in those too. Even in Unity, you were getting caught all the time. Good watching Stando be a sneaking Viking. A equals <laughs> what the f? A equals A equals M C squared. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't start the raid. I'm so confused. Wait, is this a raid? Answer A equals RD2. Answer equals round Doritos squared. <laughs> round Doritos? Doritos are triangle shaped. Where's the, what is this nonsense of round Doritos? This isn't even where I'm supposed to be. Oh my god. <laughs> now Stando was showing us the round Doritos on the stream as part of an early access deal. Really? Round Doritos? Yes. You had round Doritos? Absolutely, I did. I had Dorito checks. Early... Oh. I love how he just gave up. He's like, I'm not even going to say I'm ruffles anymore. Going to say ruffles. Oh, the ruffles. Oh, okay, that's right. You were calling the ruffles round Doritos. <laughs> oh, you said checks instead of ruffles. Though. No, they do have Dorito checks. Have, have y'all not seen those? They are round Doritos. Like, literally. They're like uh, concave Doritos. I don't know how to... They're like hollow in the middle and... I don't know. They're, they're weird. <clears throat> they're not round. They're like hexagon shaped or whatever. I don't know. They're weird. But they're Doritos. I don't see a man with a white bear. I didn't speak to Bjorn. Bjorn travels with a white bear. Is 
the remainder of Hobbs and Shaw and the four Daniel Craig Bond movies, then maybe a second screen of Snyder's Justice League can bump the subscription. Dude, I love those Daniel Craig fucking Bond movies, dude. They're so fucking good. Bjorn! A man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bjorn. They say we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wish to be dead. They are not the first. And you come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I'm not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I offer you the seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here with your bear? I prefer vengeance against the man who hung my wife and left her for the ghost. Who is this man? A mercy and lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men, an army perhaps, but that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You're tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? First you show me then. Follow the bear. What's this quest? The skulls say Bjorn carried Oh, is this the, the way of the berserker? The mysterious well, berserker. As one would raise a child. Oh, it's the mysterious berserker, not the way of the berserker. Well, have you been playing this, Dick? No, no. Um, there's a, uh, a pre order bonus quest called the way of the berserker. I didn't know if you were doing that. Your favorite flowers? They are not food, Njal. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemingway Hall. I want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, but I haven't played anything in the last week. When I do anything, I've been working on my game. But I want to finish Cyberpunk, but I kind of just want to start playing Valhalla. Play Valhalla. Yeah, but then I'll probably never finish Cyberpunk. I never finished The Witcher 3. I started playing something else. Because you're right, like, if I go on a different game without finishing one, then I usually never end up going back, which is why I'm Well, you might not, finish not want to finish uh, Cyber Dunk. There's fish you want. Cyber Dunk. Yeah. help with that. Fishing. Why? Cyber Stunk. Now to catch something from Yao. Why? <laughs> this is a mess. It's a mess! <laughs> they under-delivered hugely! Yeah, but didn't Witcher 3, when it first came out, have issues too, and then they fixed them, and then it became, like, the greatest game ever. Can I fish? It was very okay by comparison. I mean... Right now, mainly the bugs that I run into is things like floating in air that shouldn't be floating. Cyberpunk is more like D3 on release. What's D3?
Wait, did it sink? Diablo. Man, dead trouts don't sink. What the hell? But also, another reason why I've been waiting to play Valhalla is because I either want to play it on PC or play it on PS5. And I have it on PS4. Why is there a polar bear in England? Maybe it's an albino grizzly. Or maybe somebody brought it over from Norway. I don't know. No, they don't have polar bears in Norway. <laughs> or do they? <laughs> Think about what you're saying. I don't know, do they? I mean, the polar bears are usually like in the Arctic or something, or... Is Norway considered Arctic? I, I, I don't... I think it's... no. I know. I don't see no fish. What do you want from me, bear? easier just to shoot the fish but here's the thing is they don't show up above the water so this is bullshit what are you oh are you fishing you having to fish You're having, why can't you kill the fish a different way? You have to shoot them with an arrow? I got it. Some fish, Nyal. Here. <laughs> Screw the fish. I want a Pepsi. No, you can't do that because polar bears are the Coca Cola thing, right? Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. The demon bear. Honest master. That's not the berserker. Who cares? We'll kill them both. Filthy bear and dirty games all must die. You betrayed Coke for Pepsi. I got these backwards. Ah, I totally got these backwards. <laughs> I just now noticed. How the fuck did that happen? Okay, um. Axe. This is the House Carl's Axe. What's this one? Uh. Baron's Axe. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, F maybe? Yeah, and then. There we go. Shit. Oh, oh. 
on the Owl. The Otter may be in trouble as well. Yeah, but the, the thing is, is I don't know who this person is. Slashed and Cute Soul Girl 666. I don't know who that is. Saxon Blade from the look of it. No, you already killed who killed them. <laughs> Because I'm awesome. Oh my god, oh my god, I wasn't expecting that, oh my god. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood is in me. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young Thane wanted the glory of killing me. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start, a quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. <laughs> Seems like a rebirth. Oh, wow, Locust, wow. To boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker <laughs> brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold, even taunted me. What? Then he... He hung her. Alf Hilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone... No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my berserker. Now, Aridex is on the right path. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. 
When you find the nightshade, bring it to <laughs> me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodoric's work. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England. Eridus Ar got it right. For sure. Preach it. Hey, man, preach it, Air Dash. He says, Brother Locust, if you want her dead, at least take care of her yourself. You're not a real man otherwise. While it says in the law of man that robbed him from the opportunity of doing himself is rude. <laughs> hey, man, Brother Air Dash. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, my bad. Man, see, in Ezio's day, you could run up the wall and, like, jump off the wall and... Mm. If that Viking ran up the wall, the wall would fall over. He's thick. Ezio needed a cheeseburger. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I don't know if he's... Well, yeah, I guess he is like a wrestler, isn't he? I am getting hungry for real though. I don't I don't think I've other than these chips, I've not eaten anything since. Thursday evening, I don't think.
You didn't eat anything at all yesterday? Mm -hmm. It's too busy. I ate these chips. I can relate. I don't like making father. myself stuff to eat either. Did you kill these men? These defilers <laughs> killed kind of themselves <laughs> by despoiling this sacred ground. God told me the full tale. Then he told me to chastise them. And he has told me much about you, too. What? Stand down, Saxon. I mean you no harm. I warned you to leave. Now God guide my hand. What's the Bible? I don't want to kill a nun. May God strike you down. Tell me again. What did your God say about me? My God names you the Crow-Eyed Devil. And he sends out his angels to find you and to kill you. And then they will fling you into the pits of hell, demon. Oh Lord, take these gifts my blood offering as a sign of devotion to your mighty cause. I have laid waste to a dozen heathens for your greater glory, though one crept up in the rafters to die, so that you may smite him down at your leisure. May his blood and body please you, my Lord. Your most devoted apostle, Saint Elfwin, hammer of the heathens. What a demented lady. Show me what lies up. Nightshade has a distinct stench. Like this. It must be near. That is enough nightshade. Foul smelling herb. I should meet Bjorn. No, now who will testify against the mob or Star and Sister Act 2? We'll be Goldberg, dude! Didn't they make three of those movies? Didn't one have like Queen Latifah in it? <clears throat> no, I think it was a movie like Sis. I don't know, like Sister Act. They had Queen Latifah and uh, Dolly Parton in it. My wife watched it. It was like, huh? Oh, Sister Act 2 is actually pretty good. I mean, I'm not Whoopi Goldberg's biggest fan, but it's actually pretty good. Coming ritual. Nearly done. Mm. 
The Skalds say Odin hung himself in a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Pour it out. Pour it out. Notice he ain't drinking it. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it with Don't me. drink it. Don't drink it. It's like the crazy witch doctor in Far Cry. Don't do it. The one that was like, hmm, eat this eyeballs and shit. And he had like shit bubbling. Like, what was that? Far Cry Primal or whatever? Hey, Vor, no, don't do it. No! How are you cold? You bear skins, you wolf shirts, you tasters of blood. We are the shield biters, war breakers, born in battle's flood. What do you fight for, you bear skins? Wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. War breakers, born in battle's flood. Oh my god. They beat the shit out of each other, didn't they? I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker Brew does not... does not agree with my belly. <laughs> but you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you... you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorich's worth. We shall kill them all! With me! No! Y'all will taste Mercian blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker! I guess this is the way of the Berserker. Like, they're all the vengeance of the Berserker. The... Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's a pre-order. But I didn't pre-order it. Yeah. No. I am positive. Uh, he like purchased it like a day before it came out. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you did, and that still counts as a pre-order. 
So you're a bear now, apparently. Help me with this. Come, sit back or sweat. Some treasure here. Get Welcome, Thank you for the follow. And him and 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 Anomaly? An animal? Thank you for the follow. Oh! <sighs> 
Yeah, you should totally play this game, Tech. If you like Ghost of Tsushima and Odyssey, you should definitely play this game. I'm gonna play it. Like Cyberpunk, but I don't know. I'm kind of more into medieval stuff. And Help me out here! Cyberpunk, post-apocalyptic stuff. The first part is supper cook cooking. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I might order a pizza a little bit. Oh shit! Woke up wrong because my left arm's so super sore when I move it. Let us leave this blasted place. Your mother down here. Come on. Where are we going? Dude, I don't I don't think you guys can fit on my longboat.
Jorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Don't say stuff like that, Herodish. is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. <laughs> Bring us some of her. Gonna give now. a ban. They look like. I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. No, seriously, everybody's starting to take that misinformation shit really seriously, so don't, don't, don't screw me over, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> but is it really all in for misinformation? <sighs> yes, he does not have gangrene and his arm is going to fall off. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> Bunch of random gangrene and some worms bloody our neighborhoods. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Now it wants me to gather uh, flowers for his wife, I guess, for, for Nial. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. I got... I got to get some food. Civil War dogs were happy as fuck with all the, the gangrene going about. What the fuck are you all going on about? You silly people. Right, let's go gather those flowers real quick. I put me a breakfast bowl in the microwave, so. Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowl. Got one with biscuit and gravy in it. And some sausage gravy. It sounds good. I think I want to eat that. Because, you know, that's what my body needs, more biscuit and gravy. I, I'm getting a little thin. Hell, I can barely weigh down my lawn tractor. It wants to float away when I sit on it. The stream not sponsored by Jimmy Dane or Melietta. That's correct. Do you see? Hint, 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 hint. But it could be, should be. Oh. I don't think I have wide enough reach, but, you know. You know, what do I know? Give me them flowers. His wife's grave. No wonder he visits this tree often. Flowers for Njal. Now to meet Bjorn beneath the gallows tree. This is the gallows tree, right? But oh, it's his wife. I just, that's his wife. I just looted her body. <laughs> I brought her here where it began. Where it ends. Wait, the bear died? I understand. Spoilers. They hung my wife in this. Fuck you, Tech Lady. I told you play this game. I don't want to hear spoilers. I've been telling you play this game since November, so I can fucking play it, dude. And here it is, fucking May of the next year. As a cub. I had, you told me to finish. Jesus. Dima uh, first. Now both are gone. You told me. And I remain. To finish Ghost of Tsushima first. I was gonna play it. You said finish Ghost of Tsushima. I did. For the better years of my life. I played every. You said I don't. I, you should play all of them so you don't spoil the game for me. So I am on the twelfth Assassin's Creed game. Not only that, but I played Spider Man Remastered and Spider Man Miles Morales, and I have strung it out with Call of Duty streams. So. 
Fuck you, tech spoilers my ass. No, but you told me to finish Ghost of Tsushima first, did you not? Did you not tell me to finish Ghost of Tsushima yeah. first? Yeah, and that should have been done like ages ago. Done for ages. I've been done with it for ages. Then I went to play Cyberpunk. Well, it's not my fault you picked the wrong games uh, the order. Okay? <laughs> God can bite you. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm telling you, that Warzone is fun as fuck. And it's, you know, a lot of people like watching that shit, so. And Stan hates, well, used to hate Call of Duty. So that's saying something. Right? Right? I wouldn't say it. Well, there's... I've, I've liked few of them. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you used to like Call of Duty. Then you kind of stopped liking it. And really didn't like it for a bit until uh, Advanced Warfare and then Modern Warfare. Njal sleeps at the old father's feet tonight. Yes. They let loyal hounds into the hall of the brave. So Njal too is there. With Alfilda. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There will be a place for you in my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfilda and Jarl during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow me. I hope you eat the beer. Yeah, I mean, it is cooked. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the berserker of the Raven Clan. In some cultures, eating it makes it part of your soul. So I'm down, Locust. I'm, I'm down. I'm with you. We're on the same page. Eat the blubbery bear, right? It's full of fat, and it's got to taste good. I got you. First taco garpole. <laughs> where's where's taco garpole? I don't know. Uh, had you fill of battle royale games? There, I said it. Oh, dude. Really, this stream's only had two, right? 
I mean, we tried Apex, we didn't like it. We tried Fortnite, didn't like it. So really, this stream's only had, and we tried uh, the other two, Blackout and um, Firestorm. We did like Ring of Elysium, but we didn't play it enough. Um, what? So really, PUBG and uh, this one's the only one we've had. I think Battle Royale is just getting started. I think Halo's going to have a Battle Royale. Uh, I want to see more, like, boots on the ground. Like, I want to see, like, a Ghost Recon or a Rainbow Six Battle Royale. I, I want to see it. Where's Taco Garden? <laughs> what is this, 35? And what's this one? 27? 27? What do I have two of these? That's Huntsman. A new home. The settlement in your home. Build it. Grow it. Viking for hire. Rita is looking to help grow the Thousand Eyes Network and expand his influence across England. He is a generous merchant and knows how to greatly reward his associates. <clears throat> So I guess we just go back home, right? Like, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so let's do that. You know, you want some, it's really super good.
Mm. Mm. Just a minute. Look at this storm. Oh my gosh. <coughs> what do you have today? Oh, I only got 14 opals though. contract for me another day another series of tasks that require a keen eye and a talent for violence interested these are the dailies you were talking about right these that like the, in this one they're called the thousand eyes for the merchants. There will be contracts. Uh, <coughs> that's what they had at Origins. That's the same merchant from Origins. Yeah, it's even got the same name. I'm off. Be well, friend. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, no, it, it's similar, but not exactly like what Odyssey had. Um, I liked Odyssey's system better than Origins, but this was okay. Here, this marks fewer members of the Order. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, How do you I like want the dialogue you to have this. this one. Keep this up and the land will be free of these monsters. Do what now? Take. I have to go. Uh, how do you piece? like the dialogue? It's really good. It's not like Origins dialogue. No, 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 no. Uh, I do think that, like, it might be different playing as female Eivor, but male Eivor, like, he's real somber in tone. But that's mm -hmm. probably deliberate. I mean, you know, like... Female Eivor, I did try playing her a little bit. She's, like, real, you know, has a really, like, loud, louder, deeper voice. <laughs> <laughs> Which I kind of don't like on her character. <laughs> like she's trying to be more masculine. <laughs> I have to go. See you soon. Come visit again soon. I mean, you know, some women are like that, and I guess female Vikings would be like that, but. Right. I just, like, don't. <coughs> I kind of like. Cool. Uh, actually, I probably prefer Cassandra in Odyssey than female Ivor. Oh, yeah? Because I did like some, uh, as Cassandra in Odyssey. But I still like um, Alexios better. <laughs> Alexios is my guy. He's just so cool. I loved Alexios. And you know the what? What was the uh, the guy with uh, Hippocrates? Um, uh, or no, the guy was oh, oh, the guy was Socrates. My bad. 
Thank you for this. With a fur uh, meat uh, or bone, we will provide our, only the, the guy finest. Guy yeah. Here. If you intend to go hunting, consider bringing uh, us your kills. Uh, uh, we will prepare the hides and heads. I can't pronounce it. Sorry for an A. I've been melting yeah, Petra's dream. I don't think his part would have been nearly as funny with Cassandra as they were with Alexios. Enjoy your new home. Eivor. Yeah. You seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks yeah, of great battles. Yeah, yeah, because then it, like, it would have kind of seemed more straight, I guess, yeah. if it was, when Am you were wrong? with Cassandra. You are not. <laughs> Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. <laughs> Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But you do not appreciate the subtleties Maybe of a cutting flight. Maybe why the Ragnarsons moved on. That is why you Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do what whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground... Some interesting there, fan art out there of what? Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, mm -hmm. Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. Oh, this chick? Really? So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. 
These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's in. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Poor wolf. You're so yeah, crazy. they were killing all the deer and getting ready to turn on people. Are you all right? They were yes. rabid. Those your sheep. They were. God take them. And they, they killed this man's sheep. World. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear anything. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. So I think, well, I can't say that like when go like they took some cool notes from Ghost of Tsushima because this game would have been in development at the same time, right? So like, but like, so the Viking the raid is. Let me ex let, let let me explain it to you this way. You guys are talking about how like I'm not as stealthy or whatever. The raid and the combat is kind of like you know when uh. They use the raid in this game. Okay, like, you know in Ghost of Tsushima when he goes up and he calls everybody out and he he he, challenge, he samurai challenges them or whatever? Oh, the, um, yeah, the standoff. That's kind of like what the raid is in this game, except, you know, it's 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 not like a one-on-one -on -one challenge where you, like, kill a bunch of people at first. Right. You're calling. You have, a, yeah. you have friends that join in to fight the enemies with you. And stuff. But, like, there's some interesting notes, like, that they took. Like, the blocking with the... Like, out of all the Assassin's Creed, I've never felt the shield all that useful. <laughs> in this one, I'm loving the shield in the one handed You know what I mean? Like... Well, you never found the shield useful in, in which... Uh, Origins and uh, Odyssey. I didn't use the shield much. Odyssey? You, did you even have... I don't think you had Odyssey. shields in Odyssey. You didn't have a shield in Odyssey. You had a, you did have a parry, but you used like you would just put up two swords, right? Because you always had like the dagger and another weapon. Like you had the. Um, That's a damn uh, fine stable the spear we have of Leonidas, now. The tip of oh, it, look at it, and another weapon. You'd put them together to block with, yeah. unless you had a two-handed weapon like a spear or something like that. But then you would just block with the spear. I think. 
I remember right. But you actually like using the shield. Yeah, I use the shield sometimes in Origins, like to block with. But but you actually do use it a lot. Yeah, this one. a lot. You don't like the dual axes or something. I, like I've that? not tried dual axes, but I'm really digging the shield build. You should try. It. You can, you know, you can do Good dual day. shields. Yeah. Too, right? I wonder what that's like. <laughs> that might be kind of cool. So you're you're really enjoying this then? It seems yeah. Like. That's good. That's good. Very, very good. And then it's got kind of like this settlement theme of like you know the uh, it's very reminiscent of Assassin's Creed Three. You know, one of the best settlement builders in the whole like. With with the side quests interweaving in the, like building the like building the settlement in Assassin's Creed Three. Yeah, well, because each one of the the each one of the people you were helping out added to the community, you know, and it's kind of like in here, like well, we just helped oh, her just, like take out this pack of wolves yeah. for building up the hunter thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did I did fishing. like that in um, Three actually. Yeah. So it's not like um, it's not like settlements and Fallout Four. No, 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 no. I like building the settlements in this. Yeah, it, it, this is just money. May you find a new home here among the Raven Clan. And then you can interact with each one of your clansmen in your settlement. You know, the, the people that you're you're bringing in here, and there's different quests for all. You know, you're supposed to be able to like. Create your own characters for your crew, and then you could yeah, yeah, yeah. Members by your like side, Have yeah. you done that yet? You created um, characters and stuff. Yeah. Show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. Because I would like table. to do that, like uh, use some characters you've created, and I create some characters, and you try Good it day, on the line. Eivor. I don't know how that part works, but that would be. Like, I, I don't know how you see them. Maybe it's in the codex. Go to database. Uh... Cause that kind of like adds sort of a multiplayer aspect without actually having multiplayer. You know what I mean? Like you don't really play together, but you can still kind of do something that kind of interacts or affects each other. Cause from what I understand, you got when you guys use each other's like recruits, you both gain. XP and money or something from them or something like that. But yeah, uh, I have a recruit. At least that's what the original design was. Is he is he around here? Or did he die? At. But yeah, I made a second lieutenant. He was wearing all that like Lord of the Rings armor that you said made him look like Sauron. Oh, it made him. You made him look like yeah. Sauron. You can customize. And he was super thing. tall. Oh wow! <laughs> While you were away, your Yom's Vikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute there. Oh, okay. Summon my yums for game. All right, bring out my lieutenant. And there he is. Yeah, that's not the one that. Okay. Um.
I would like to reorganize the crew. Yeah, I've already picked up some community Vikings. So you you find the community Vikings out in the wild. Oh, you don't necessarily get to like go and look for a friend. No, I don't guess so. No. How do you know? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, it has friends on here, but I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, friends. So if I create some, you then they would show up there for you. Yep. Oh, so that means on mine, I would be able to see yours under friends. Now, I wonder if that just goes by PlayStation friends or Ubisoft friends, too. Like, say, if I played on PC. Yeah, I don't know. Done? Are you going to get the DLC for this? I must take my leave. Uh, I don't know. So long. Didn't you? I know you, you didn't end up getting it for Odyssey, even though you liked Odyssey. But I think that was mostly for time constraints. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Aww. See if I can, uh, you got any, what, what, what have you got? Ah, those invaders never stood a chance. Not when you are armed with Gunnar's handiwork. What have you got for me today? <laughs> Is that what you want? I can get you that one easy. You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend. The dogs are so awesome. Tell me about what you do here. I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. I will see you later, friend. 
Until next time, Eivor. Uh, redid. Okay, we'll see when we get back. And two OS and games. There we are. I've got some new pieces with your name on them. We have talked so little since our first days, Yanli, and I know nothing about you. How did you come to live in England? I wish I had a more intriguing story for you. I came from Sun Sao, far from here, for no real reason. Curiosity, I suppose. This is not an exotic story. A young woman, excited by the prospect of travel, <laughs> granted passage on a trading boat. Do you miss your home? Yes. Often. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. I intend to return one day. Or perhaps coax some friends and family to join me here. But I am in no hurry. Well, you're most welcome here. Oh! <laughs> I should soon have a few spices from the East to add to our feasts. As much as I love your hospitality, your food is... Mm. Well, you are doing your best. I would like to see what you have in stock. You should buy that. Hint it. This was made for you. Done shopping for the day? I have to go. See you soon. Don't be a stranger. There we are. Nice to have a more permanent spot. Letter <sighs> familiar. Wonderful news, our little fire has blown across the sea and it feels like I will see you later, friend. So long! <clears throat> Okie dokie. Alvis, I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner <laughs> Good day. I did. Put them right over there. Eivor. You... Chilbert. Are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us. Instead of just hiding here in the longhouse. You were exactly where you needed to be. Defending the people, and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, 
No. Only on SSD now. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Avo, you're back. I did. Put them right over yeah. there. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Suggested level 90. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finia myself. A good plan. Safe travels. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you want to. Confront the Dane steward. That is actually a very good idea. Okay, so we can actually fast travel. Um, here would probably be good. <clears throat> there we go. Oops, guess it should have went around. Oh, well. And they are merging with another company, and because of this, they are going to downgrade everyone's membership back to Shadow Boost, so the graphic card and the is going to be taken away on Monday. Norwich, suffering hard times, I see. Say it gets expensive to run all those servers.
Think you can swill with the best? So I'm saying, like, it's not because of money they're emerging. Try and prove it. What? What's happening? In here. Oh. No, not unless Afton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all. Dane and Saxon alike. Hmm. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass. And <laughs> Kick your back. king in the ass. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage. No army. No charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, He'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. It's quite a downgrade there, Astro. Ready, should you have need. Yeah, that's kind of like the thought behind, like, uh, GeForce Now and Stadia and whatever Amazon's virtual gaming services. It was also like, you ever heard of, uh, 
What was that one tech? Sony bought the random guy guy. <clears throat> I don't remember the name of it. Cast about this land, my friend. Gamefly, I think it was. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald. Uh, as a bear, yes. <laughs> for as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do Nothing they know day. this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? Why don't you have permission to marry Valdis? Her brothers don't approve of me. Saxon wed to a Dane. This should be interesting. We gotta get him married. He's a puss and she's a Viking. I mean, it should Slow be down. easy. Something is not quite right here. Hold. A smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. I must be careful now. Here comes your stealth deck. Alright, you better not mess this up. <laughs> Don't fuck it up. Don't get caught. You assassinate these mofos. Looks get the like one trouble. in the back first so he doesn't see you get the other one. There's the two in the back. Yeah. What's the 
Epic noise. Pick up, yeah, you can pick up. Their little lives. They mean nothing to me. Their flies and shit. Why don't you put your hood on and act like a real assassin? How am I missing? Oh my god. How are you missing? What? Dang. <laughs> but yeah, put your hood on, man. Be a real assassin. <laughs> no, don't put your mouth on. Yeah. <laughs> Words and theirs are not so far apart. Can you do a double assassin? <laughs> Is there trouble? Hopefully, you learn that ability. Always liked the devil assassinations. Is there any sort of like rush assassination? <laughs> oh, there you go. You just drive him away and assassinate him. He should have seen happened? that at like. <laughs> He's like, he should be like, hey, I saw that guy come out of the bush. Drawn to your whistle. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is, finally. About time. The last of these big faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. I wonder if they didn't want the instant assassination on some of the harder enemies because they didn't want to make like certain circumstances that were supposed to be more of a struggle be suddenly real easy if you just assassinate them. I don't know. It's still dumb. Uh, at, least it, it, at least it gave you the option to turn it off. Or to turn on the instant assassination always. Cause, yeah, because that's the way it always was in the old Assassin's Creed games, is you could always assassinate instantly, unless you got caught. But I can stealth when I want to. That's not what makes these games fun, though. <laughs> it's a little fun, but what's what's a little fun? Assassinating all of them. Oh, you actually just prefer going in and fighting, even though it's no, I like doing I like doing half and half stealth until I get caught, and then like just finish them off. Like no need to go back. I'm already found. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the if the combat, 
Like the mechanics have evolved. You gotta admit, the, the mechanics evolved more around the combat than they had the stealth in the last few games. Yeah, I mean, because there's only so much you need to do in stealth, and I think they've already mastered that aspect. Yeah. Ruits Clan. They left none. Can you still like automatically jump on the horse? Yeah. Or, like, yeah. It's another I'll try to impress my you... trust family. Show more grit than oh. you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry. I, I meant like just... if you call it while if you running. Join mm -hmm. us at dinner. That might ease their minds a touch. Cool. Think about it. My doors are open to you. That's good. My presence alone won't sway the family of your intended bride. That's work you must do yourself. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. I'm merely hoping you might provide me with perspective. That I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Was just kidding. <laughs> Let's go see. Uh, that was the kids, right? Windows Edge or MS Edge. Yeah, Edge sucks. <laughs> well, actually, the new new version of Edge is based on Chromium, just like Chrome. So it's like Chrome, but I still use. I still prefer. Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Chrome is. Well, I mean, Chrome is just so universal now. You know what I mean? Like. Like, the only other, like, I think real competitor is Firefox, and I used to use Firefox for a while. It's a good browser, but I don't know, I just, everything yeah. seems to work for Chrome now. Everything, like, seems more, like, most websites seem like they're designed to work on Chrome first, and then everything else after. And that's because Chrome really paved the way for HTML5, and... Right. They have really good um, developer tools and stuff uh, on Chrome, like be open to developer tools, content stuff, so it helps developers in building sites and stuff. Absolutely. I mean, for them, Firefox has contributed a lot to. Uh, give them credit but yeah oh it doesn't uh, what uh, does it support franker faces because franker faces includes a lot of the vttv stuff with it
Does it have the road following feature? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I see. I see now. This also has a. Road. <clears throat> yeah, and it has a uh, follow the the shoreline feature when you're in your ship. Oh yeah. 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 Because I, I have played like the beginning. I've just not gotten to the last battle in the beginning and left Norway or anything. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, darling, come back, you snake. Here, little one. No, stop! Oh, pig poop. You ran off again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty, like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah, ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. Here, little one. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. Okay, um, interesting. What we got? We got one over here. Yeah, we can go check this out real quick. And this one says stories that have mysteries, and they don't have, they don't show up in the quest tab. Yeah. Race, you mean? They don't show up in the quest tabs, but they have icons right yeah. on the map. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll ride in his stead. Horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Esther the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye. <laughs> Next time, summon a bridge. If Father was still alive, he would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skinfarly? Wait, 
What did I call you earlier? <laughs> Maybe the horse will have a better life now. You! You little rat! Come back with my horse! Ah, stop! Stop! <laughs> Well, you shouldn't have been such a bad light. He was, a, he was a bad horse master. The people grow desperate, the raiders grow fierce. The tithes must be protected. The tithes. I, I have moved them from my house to the church's second floor. Surely none would des desecrate this holy sanctum. Oh, they didn't count on me, did they? Thirsty for silver! Look at there. Sorry to take your old tithes, but taxes, taxes. I could be the next sheriff of Nottingham. I'm not putting nobody out of their misery. We'll see you later, Dad. You have a good one, buddy. Oh, God. Bless. Here lies Athelstan, pious son and rightful king of East Anglia. Here lies warrior god slayer of pagans. Here lies men foolish enough to wear East Anglia's crown. Thor himself could not drink me. Except for me. Okay, uh. 
Such exquisite fletchings. Fitting feathers for a king slain. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Halt, stranger! Show me those arrows. These are just arrows. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. A wandering monk spread rumors of Roman ruin southeast of Northwick. Duty compels me to search such a site, but there are darker things in these lands than rogue Danes, or so the monk says. For now, I shall quell my quickening heart. The ruins have survived many winters. They may wait longer. I must stay alive long enough to explore them. Ramman mun reipa draga, segi ég. Þá er fjandins dregur upp. Mun það vera allt sem að getur gert eigi að deyja. Look at the sink. Yeah! 
Attack on sight. Oh, what did I stumble upon? Uh. Nothing without some arrows. You can't just knock down that wall. I can't believe I sold that woman all my arrows. Why would you sell somebody all your arrows? Uh, because... She wanted to buy them for reasons I don't understand. Like, something about... They're the arrows that were used to shoot the king on the throne, and I pulled, them out of the, I pulled some arrows out of the throne. And she was like, I, she, she told me I, uh, we desecrated. I don't know, it sounds silly. It probably is, but, you know. Can I craft arrows? Let's see. You could in Odyssey. In Origins, I don't think you could. Which is kind of annoying. I can upgrade my quiver, but I cannot craft arrows. But that upgrading gave me 14, so. Yay!
And your abilities aren't earned through the skill tree. You find them in the land. <laughs> that there's a skill tree that has abilities. Yeah, I know. But you don't just unlock them in the skill tree? Nope. What about the abilities you do unlock in the skill tree? They're, they're different. They're on like all the time. To make sense, I don't know. They're passive abilities that you can use without like having to drain energy or something. Yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Or attributes or whatever. And so, like the ability, it's like you had an Odyssey. You find them instead of unlocking. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I guess it's kind of interesting. Gives you more of a reason to go exploring and checking out stuff. More of a reward, you know, for doing that. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like the way Odyssey did it better. Just unlock them and then assign, or unlock the ones you want. Well, I eventually unlocked all of them. Yeah, but there's just a lot of them I didn't use, like the... Oh, yeah, I didn't use every single one of them, but I unlocked them all. That's because I got to level 99, though. <laughs> Once you well, I'm already at level 60, and I don't feel like I'm anywhere in this world, you know what I mean? Like You're level 60? Yeah. Really? Oh, no, your power level 60 is different, because, like... When there's some things that required you to be 280 power level. Yeah, the, like okay, so the power level is the only leveling there is. Mm -hmm. But it's got a higher cap. Yeah. Like, Octane's cap was 99. Although you could keep leveling 99. Like, the suggested like power for this area is 55. <clears throat> and I'm power 60. Once you got to level 99 in Odyssey, then they had mastery levels. So you stayed on level 99, but you keep up leveling the mastery level then after that point. So you'd still get like attribute points and stuff. And once I unlocked all the skills, then I was able to use attri the attribute points to improve other abilities and stuff. I gotta say, the warmth of that biscuit bowl has made me feel better, though. Like, I don't feel like my chest so bad. That's good. Did you order you some pizza? No. No, not yet. I might do that later. I don't know. We'll see. Uh... Let me check my funds because I'm giving away $25 today. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Hashtag giveaway. Hashtag giveaway. Stand oh, stand oh, mania. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, I can order pizza. Uh, it's easy. But, uh, I don't know. Order DoorDash. I'll come down. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> uh, 
No, you're out of my uh, area. Sorry. I want Louisville. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I delivered to your house from Louisville. 